Hello Denizens! Uh, YouTube hates it when I take detours with my channel content. Well, uh, this is not just a complete diversion from my usual Apple or Hackintoshing stuff. This is going to be a tour bus plunging off a cliff. Join me on this adventure as I visit one of my guilty pleasures, Euro Symphonic Heavy Metal. I've always loved the heavy drumming and bass riffs of death metal, but could never really get into all that grunting style singing. Now, if you're not familiar with the category of symphonic metal, well, just think of Evanescence, but with a Eurovision flair. There is a war on rock music out there, and the electric guitar in particular. The streamer Star Chamber, populated by the hooded figures from the major record labels, hate guitar music. That's why they pushed Gibson guitars into chapter 11. Has Eric Clapton recorded anything new lately? I have no idea. But, you know, that would have required doing some research, which I'm not prepared to do, as it might spoil the premise of this video. Yes, Jack White is making guitar music, but that's because the labels are afraid of him. It's that dyed black hair. No matter, it is certainly not like the salad days of the 60s and 70s. Cream, Hendrix, Mountain, Johnny Winter, Ministry, the good Black Sabbath. That's done, gone. If you're into loud guitar, the only thing left these days is metal in its different flavors like heavy metal and death metal and heavy metal death and heavy death metal and heavy metal death and, and of course, symphonic metal, which is sometimes referred to as operatic metal because it features a lead female opera singer or opera style singer. There are a lot of these bands you've never heard of, and the genre goes back to the 90s. But I've really only gotten into it recently, and I'm loving it. Bands like Epica, Within Temptation, the pioneering Therion, and my favorite, Nightwish. Now, to be honest, there's a certain sameness to the relentless drumming and the hammering uh, metal bass riffs, and most of the time, I can't understand the lyrics at all. But I've been really enjoying it. Maybe as a contrarian, I'm so sick of the Pop 100 music on streaming channels. What I find so much fun about the symphonic metal is that most of these leather-clad, hair-whipping musicians are classically trained and have decided to do metal instead of joining the Berlin Philharmonic. You can hear the musicianship they bring to the thumping songs. This is in contrast to the teens in the U.S. who learn two piano chords, get stuffed into kitty porn outfits, and then auto-tuned into pop stardom at the hands of soulless mega-pop producers who view a key change as heresy. I'm enjoying the music complexity of symphonic metal. I'm also really enjoying the names. Some of these bands are no more, but their names endure. Apocalyptica, Betraying the Martyrs, Orknagger, Dragonland, Enslavement of Beauty, Eternal Tears of Sorrow, Flesh God, Grave Worm, Holy Hell from the US, Make Them Suffer from Australia, Septic Flesh, Theaters, Days Vampires, and Winds of Plague. To name just a few. Those are awesome names. Over here we get Drake. That's the name of a male duck. But my latest obsession is Nightwish. Don't ask me why. While they fall into the symphonic heavy metal category with the traditional female operatic singer, I would call them more of a movie score metal band, and I love them. Their music is big and sprawling. I'm sure most of you have never heard of Nightwish, but they can sell out 100,000 seat stadiums all over the world. Nightwish is a Finnish band. Tuomas Holopanian uh, is its leader and songwriter. The guy writes songs featuring lyrics from Richard Dawkins' books on evolution, much like Cardi B's latest hit. Nightwish started back in the late 90s with the brilliant operatic voice of Tarja Turian. Then when Tarja left, they went into a kind of uh, ABBA metal with singer uh, Annette Olsen, who is Swedish, 
Now they have joined forces with uh, Fleur Jensen, the six-foot Dutch Valkyrie who I'm in love with. In fact, if you want an introduction to Nightwish, watch their live concerts on YouTube. So there you go. I've confessed. I hope you don't think less of me. So long, denizens. What is it, Wancho? Oh, you were a groupie for the Partridge family and you thought David Cassidy was really heavy. Well, that's not a surprise. Till next time, denizens. So long.